Howdy hey, it's Randall K. And you've probably participated in a Zoom meeting where one of the other attendees has recently discovered the virtual background feature. And so they place themselves on a virtual tropical beach while the shape of their head kind of warps or the hair of their chair is appearing and disappearing or like large swaths of the living room that they're sitting in will appear and then disappear. And that's because they're not properly set up for chroma key or green screen video. Why green? Because no matter your ethnicity, I guarantee that your skin tone is not a shade of green. And chroma key is all about removing one color from video so that it can be replaced with something else. I've even seen these professional videos where they will have the attractive spokesperson stand on the virtual set and talk about an industry generically as they point to your logo and the photos that you provided for your marketing video. But the whole thing looks fake. Um, and they're really good at removing the green screen, but they've missed some other things that would contribute towards realism. I will spare you the complete tutorial on chroma key videography, but I just want to call attention to a couple of things that will help uh, achieve a believable uh, virtual location. First, lighting. Though you may not be consciously aware that shadows are falling from different directions or the virtual background has a, a warm sunlight kind of look while the foreground has a cool fluorescent kind of look to it, uh, but your brain will look at those differences and say, something doesn't jive here. This isn't real because the lighting of the real scene and the virtual scene don't match. Uh, another thing is focus. Just like our eyes, a camera can only focus on one thing at a time. So if one thing is a focus, like the speaker, the virtual elements ought to be out of focus, whether it be foreground or background, or the backgrounds in focus on this virtual screen, then the subject, the spokesperson, ought to be slightly out of focus. And I see these things and everything's in pristine focus. And again, while you may not be consciously aware of it, your brain tells you something doesn't add up here. Uh, this isn't right. So those are just a couple of things that tend to help a realism in green screen video. I'm curious about your experiences or maybe you learned something new. Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks.